Okay, so I think we all heard the rumor that women can't drive. And don't get me wrong, even though that rumor is partially false, there are a lot of women out there that really actually can't drive. And today's story has the ultimate woman that did the biggest mistake with her dad's car. Yes, I mean it, with her family vehicle. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So today's story takes place back when I was in high school. Obviously, high school is like the most craziest time for me. Well, because I went to three different high schools, I always had a different experience at each. And I remember back in high school, there was one girl in our school who ended up getting their license. Now, getting your license in high school is like one of the most biggest, most awesomest times of your life. Because having a license means freedom to drive your friends and basically drive anywhere you want. In many countries, it's different ages to get your license. Like some people get their license at 16 and sometimes the lowest to even maybe 15 years old. I remember I got my license when I was basically 16 and then I got it like fully when I was like 18. Like I said, it's different. But going on, I remember in my high school, there was one girl in our school who ended up getting her license and it was the biggest deal ever. I remember she would literally walk around the school showing off that she could drive anyone anywhere and basically flex on everyone. But the funny part was, was that she didn't even have a car. She ended up using her family vehicle, aka her dad's car, to basically drive around. And it was super hilarious because I remember she even tried flexing that it was her car. And so one day she ended up getting a phone call at school and the phone call, you could easily hear it because she was using like on speaker to like kind of show off. And when she put it on speaker, all I heard was, honey, uh, I need the car after school. I need to borrow my car. Thank you. I remember when everyone heard that, they started laughing at her, but then she ended up making the excuse coming back to us saying, oh yeah, well, none of you guys have your license, which was kind of funny because literally two months later, I ended up getting my license and flexing on her, but that's not the point. One thing I remember that was very common for her though, was that everyone would ask her for rides to school and back. And it was super funny because people thought like she was getting popular when in reality, it was just her license that was useful. I guess she couldn't tell the difference between getting used and actually getting real friends. It was kind of depressing actually, the more I think about it. But then I remember one day I ended up walking up to her and I really needed to go somewhere at a really quick instant, but I didn't have my license yet. So I remember I walked up to her and said, yo, listen, there's a really important video game coming out. And I was wondering if you can maybe drive me to the mall real quick. She looked at me and kind of laughed and said, you think I'm really going to drive you? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. And by the way, if you guys are wondering what game it was that was so important that I need to go pick it up, it was The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I think everyone knows this game was one of the most common games out there, but that's not the point. Going on with the story. I remember I kept asking her throughout the school day, like, please, can you just drive me? Like, it's not that big of a deal. And then I remember she looked at me and said, okay, like on one condition, uh, what? We do it like halfway through class because I really have to like go to the mall and drop off something anyway, but I was going to skip class for it. So will you skip class with me? So this girl was asking me to skip class with her, get in her car, just to go to the mall and do some stuff. I literally asked her afterwards. I'm like, why can't we just do it after school? And then she told me, well, because like they're having a sale for like a certain time. Like, are you like dumb? Do you know anything about like shopping? No, not really is what I told her. And all I knew is that if I had to skip class just once to go pick up the game, Legend of Zelda, I'm going to do it. And not to mention, I really wanted to get a ride in her car because it's just so much easier than walking. So then I remember she ended up saying, okay, well like meet me right after like third block. Okay, I can do that is what I told her afterwards. And then I remember basically right after I ended up going through my school day as if everything was normal. But then on my third block, like when she told me to leave class, I remember I put up my hand and said, I had to go to the bathroom. I got all my stuff and basically left. I ended up leaving the school and basically waited outside and see her pull up with her car. She drove like this giant white vehicle, which was like very obviously her dad's car. And I'm so surprised she even tried to even like convince anyone that it was her car. But then I remember as she pulled up, she ended up rolling her window down saying, are you getting in or what? And at that point I got inside and we headed straight to the mall. We headed straight to the mall. And I remember she was just kept like bragging about, you know, how good of a driver she was and how she passed her test on the first try and all this really dumb stuff that I've heard before. But I remember once we got to the mall, I instantly just went straight for the game and picked it up. And I ended up going back to the car to where we were supposed to drive back. But then for some reason, this girl kept messaging me saying, Hey, like, just follow me and meet me at this store. Okay. Now meet me at this store. And she kept going to so many other different stores to the point where I'm not going to lie. We were going to be late for class. She didn't realize this till halfway through when I actually finally met up with her. And I'm like, Hey, listen, I really want to go to my fifth block. So like, can we head back to school? I remember she looked at me and she kind of like waved her hand at me saying, Oh, like we have so much time. And then I remember I showed her the time on my phone. And I'm like, we literally have like less than 20 minutes. She looked at me and freaked out. She's like, wait, what? And she's like, okay, let's go back to the car quick. And then she ended up like paying for the thing she needed finally. And then we ended up like going to the car and driving straight to school. Except when she was driving, she wasn't driving carefully. Like she was switching lanes, not caring about signaling. And she was running through stop signs. Honestly, if a cop saw the way she was driving, we would have been pulled over on the spot. But that's not even the worst part. I remember as we were driving, she was like booting it, really driving as fast as she can to get to class. And it got to a point where I told her, hey, like, can you like slow down? But she wasn't having it. She was like, are you kidding? If my dad finds out I was skipping class, I'm going to get screwed. Okay, then next time don't skip, bro. Like what? Like this girl was not understanding anything. And then I remember 
her as we like were turning to the school like parking lot she was just still speeding reminder the sign on the thing says 10 kilometers an hour for people that are in america that means six miles per hour but this girl was going literally like 40 miles per hour even maybe 60 at this point and she was not caring she was driving around the parking lot like a mad woman to the point where she lost control i have no idea how she lost control but i saw that she was basically like gonna run into the wall as she was looking at me complaining and i was like i gotta get out of here so i remember out of nowhere i decided to literally open the car door and jump out i jumped out with my backpack luckily on me already and i rolled on the ground and since my backpack was like a cushion almost it kind of helped me a lot i didn't go through many injuries other than the door hitting me on the arm kind of but other than that i was out of the car and safe as for her though well i remember when i looked up and heard like a huge bang happen i remember i looked towards the school and i see glass shattered everywhere and i see students yelling and freaking out and i saw her car was literally inside the school like don't get me wrong i'm down for women's parking anywhere I, like i respect women's parking jobs but this was no parking job this was a full-on like car accident dude like this was like the worst car accident i've ever seen i remember i looked at everyone and they all looked at me thinking like why is he just standing there like how is he even out there in the first place and then my teacher's like okay everyone like go towards the wall just everyone be careful and i'm just looking like okay like this is gonna be really bad the next minute i see the principal running outside seeing what was going on and he ran up to me saying bubba whose car is this uh i'm not sure teach i just saw the car just crash into the wall is what i told him afterwards yeah i lied to the principal i'm not gonna lie there's no way i was gonna say i jumped out of that car like i was james bond dude like what i remember the principal walks up to the car sees the accident and saw that the girl was in there and instantly at that point i remember the principal was freaking out called 911 and ambulance came firefighters came in like less than two minutes we were all freaking out and stuff and then i remember my principal walked up to me and said wait bubba what class are you supposed to be in right now uh science is what i told him and i remember he looked at me thinking that i was like skipping class and stuff and then one thing led to another cops got involved and i had to tell them the truth i said i saw the way she was driving when i was in the vehicle and she lost control she was panicking too much about skipping class and she ended up crashing into the wall the cops were really surprised about how i jumped out of the vehicle in time but they were really confused the cop went up to me and said wait so you just had the instinct to just jump out and i told them yeah and they were just in shock but as for the girl well she ended up going inside a gurney going into the hospital and yeah i mean like i sent her flowers but i'll tell you one thing her broken arm was not fun to look at at school anymore and yeah she also lost her license so no more flexing that anymore but it's okay two months later like i said earlier i got my license and i was happy anyways guys that's basically it for today's story make sure you just do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like i always say fall for more embarrassing stories all right peace out guys